I'm going to have a conversation with Ronnie Shields, the esteemed trainer of Jamal Charlo. Ronnie, you have been with Jamal Charlo for several years. And, and can you tell us about, for you, I asked Jamal what being a pay-per-view headliner means to him. But for you as his trainer, to watch how far he's come, what is this journey and what does September 26 mean to all of you? Well, I mean, it means a lot, you know, because... I just let you know that your fighter, you know, he's made it to the top. You know, he's made it to the point to where people want to say, you know, just get the champion of the world. You know, and it's just, an, uh, you know, it gets great when you see when your people come and get to this level and support about it. The one thing I'll say is that Jamal Charlo, along with his brother, they are so proud of where they come from in Houston, Texas. Can you give us an idea of, of how much the Houston embraces them? We were here, and I think I saw him around here when Jamal fought Brandon Adams last June, but the, the star power of Jamal just continues to rise. He was on GQ, you know, having a photo shoot with that. His, you know, now that he's headlining on pay-per-view, Houston continues to embrace him. Absolutely, you know, I mean, you know, Houston is like everybody else. And this guy's a winner. So, and, you know, he's a nice guy also. <laughs> At the same time, people know he's a family man. And he works very hard. And, you know, and he always shouts when he's because you know, this is what he's for. You have worked with a lot of fighters, a lot of legendary fighters over the course of your career. When it comes to Jermel, what separates him from the rest of the prize fighters that you have dealt with? Well, I mean, you know, of course I've had so many good fighters in my career. And I mean, I, I thank God for that. And, but he fought at the top. He got no on the field, run the fire, but never would have been. You know, hard work. You know, hard work, paying attention to what he has to do. And, you know, the thing that separates him from the that. Watching, yeah, he might as well. Opponent, he might opponent, watching, you know, he's sure. struggling right yeah. now. You know, he knows what he's in. I ain't gonna kick him in while he's down. Here. Well, let's talk about September 26, specifically Sergey Dervinchenko. Dervinchenko had a very close loss with Andrew Gennady Golovkin in his lifetime out. He also came up short against Daniel Jacobs. What are you anticipating out of the Ukrainian hard hitter? I ain't nothing like that. Uh, just, like, just like every opponent. We expect for the phone to be at his best. You know, we expect her G -G 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 to come in and, of course, try to win and to, to be the best he can possibly be for that night. But also, come out to say, hey, we aren't leaving anything. Coach Tom will be He's going to be ripped. He's going to be moving. He's going to be like this. He's going to be like this. He's going to be like this. Walking around with a little stick. Multiple times. Like he. We go over the game plan every day. Even over the phone. Straight to him. Even over the phone, you guys. Game plan. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it's important. You know, it's important that we do that. He's going to try to come over like that. Stick. We're going to do it for every fight. Now, we're obviously dealing with difficult times in our world right when it comes to COVID-19. What have, have there been any extra challenges that have been involved 
in preparing a fighter of the caliber of Jamal Charlo for his pay-per-view matchup on Showtime pay-per-view against Sergey Devyanchenko. Oh, that's Landon. <laughs> Oh, is it Landon? We stay safe. No. 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 Now, Ronnie, when it comes to Jamal, do you like the fact that Sergei Devrichenko is not going to be hard to find? He likes to come forward. He likes to apply pressure. Do you like the fact that, you know, Jamal doesn't have to necessarily put off the ring per se because Sergei does like to come forward and throw punches and bunches? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, you have to, this is like you train for all styles and train for the style that the guy that you get in front of you is going to be. So, you know, you the good thing about it, we don't have to look for it. And, you know, and he, he's not going to really have to look for us too much because he's going to be right there. So, you know, our thing is to be safe. Stay, stay with the game plan and if you feel good about, about this fight, you know, it's going to be the mm -hmm. show. If everything goes according to plan, what would you like next? I know that the name of Canelo Alvarez has been thrown about. You know, we know that Jamal is willing to fight any of the 160-pound champions. If that isn't on the table, we potentially go up to 168. I'm not GGG. I ain't shit like yeah, well, I Jacobs. Think, I think Canelo is the, is the name. Yeah, they think, they think I'm a run. Everybody wants to <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, they think I'm a run. You know, that's what it is. I'm mean, chasing, you know, you chasing greatness. You want to fight the best. You know what I mean? You know, always want to fight the best. 31, I right told now, you. Never have a rest. I told you. It's probably the number one guy. Number I told one. you. The one item that I see about Jamal that, so that I watch. love seeing about him is he has an edge about him. He is the ultimate alpha male when he steps inside the ring. His demeanor, the way he yeah, prepares, man, he how he applies the pressure to his opponents. When they but, doubt y'all, they doubt me, they doubt me, they doubt y'all. He lives on we having that edge about him you know I mean? in this fight business. Big Charlo. Yeah, I, mean, so, I love y'all. He concentrates. Hey. Stay focused and stay sharp. I'm back. You know, that's the most important thing. Is to be the best that you can possibly be. And every time that you step into the ring. You know, back to today. Who do you think I'm going to be? It's not, it's not something that, you know, it's not. I ain't doing any of that. Come here. Boxing is a sport. You know, concentrate. And, you know, once you concentrate, you know, you have no know, work. Jamal has been a pro for 12 years. Can you, not necessarily giving away your game plan or things that you've been working on, but how much better has he gotten since the last time we saw him on December 7th at Barclay Center on Showtime against Dennis Hogan? I think everybody, you know, you have to step up and step up everybody. You know, that's because, you know, that's just the way it is. Everybody wants that they're stopping this shit. So, so we have to continue to just step the game every time. We have to keep doing different things and not just the same thing that we normally do. And, you know, and he does that. You know, he's willing to learn and everything that we throw at him, you know, he tries it, he does it, and he messes. So new have been working. that's what we wait for. Are there times where, I know his work ethic is second to none, but are there times where you have to tell him, okay, don't go in the gym today. I mean, he literally, this is his home gym. He, he lives here, he trains here, but are there times you have to tell him, all right, take a day off or take a couple of days off? Yeah, absolutely. You know, sometimes I call him and say, what you doing? Oh, he right. won't tell me, but then he Well, you, you know then. But I know. <laughs> I know. And, and I tell him, hey, man, we got to slow it down a little bit. You know, because we like training for this fight. We had so much time that I just slow him down. When I beat him, they're gonna say you want shit. Oh, he's a hard to test. From hard as hell, shit. Get on the you mentioned in interviews that you feel like Jamal doesn't get the respect that he deserves from some fans and media members. Why is that so, Ronnie? Well, I mean, you know, I told him before that. He's gonna be coming right here.
Like Danny Jacobs. We built different, tough, forward. We're not trying to go to the city. I was saying, we're coming in place, bro. We're coming in place. At the end of the day, we'll let you get back to Jamal Trello. Thank you so much for your time as we continue the workout with Jamal Trello here. When you being Myers and trying to be nice to them, fuck them. We're coming to fight every fucking minute. 